Hey guys, in today's video I show you how to install this Vanguard roof rack. It's a Prinsu look-alike roof rack for your 2019 and up Toyota RAV4. I love it, I think it is amazing, but if you're interested in this product, stay tuned. This is a video you're gonna need to see. So it's the next day, we are having an amazing day. This is the first time I've needed sunglasses in like two months. But I'm here working on the car for a little bit before I go watch the Bills game. And I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I'm seeing with these brackets. Uh, it's not perfect, but I'm definitely gonna make it work because I really want this roof rack to work. So let me flip the camera around and I'll show you guys what I'm working on. So I don't know if you can tell, but this front bracket is angled. And I'm pretty sure I know why, and I'll show you that in a second. You can see the second one back there. That one is straight. It's not level, but that's okay the way they have this whole thing designed. So that should still be fine. Then the same issue on this side over here. You can see how this bracket is just at a weird angle. It's not right, but yet the one in the back is straight. And the reason this is angled so poorly is because this bolt right here is hitting this metal piece so what they did when they bent this bracket they bent this in the wrong place so i can't actually snug this bolt down because the edges of the bolt are hitting that bracket and it can't sit all the way down in the corner it's the same exact thing for the other side you can kind of see that space underneath that bolt i just can't cinch it down any further so what i think i'm going to do is remove these brackets and enlarge this hole and hopefully get this to level out. The other big issue that happened last night when I was trying to get some more stuff done was that I stripped this hole right there. I don't know how the heck this happened. I was being careful. I was actually turning it in by hand and it just kept turning. So unfortunately, the threads on there are stripped out. I don't even have a tap and die set but unfortunately I'm gonna to have to figure that part out before I can actually get this rack mounted. The rest of this bracket fits in here nice. Um, it's just bummer that I have to fix those couple things. Otherwise I could be getting this roof rack on with my wife today before I go to watch the football game, but unfortunately it'll probably be tomorrow by the time I get this rack on at the earliest and it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. So, I don't know. But there's the rack, everything else looks great. I've looked over it multiple times. I'm really happy with it, the quality seems great. I just can't wait to see how this looks on the car when it's all mounted. Well, I just removed this bracket so I can work on drilling that hole a little bit larger, which I'll show you in a second. But you can see a thread there just for me unscrewing this bolt. So those threads obviously are not very good. I don't know what kind of metal that is, but Toyota needs to work on that. I'm a little nervous about that. This is going to be holding all the weight in the roof rack, and I've got this hole that's kind of stripped. An idea might be to use a plus nut, drill that out and add a plus nut, but uh, we'll see how. So here's the bracket I was telling you about, and you can see how those holes are kind of elongated. And I think that shows, in my mind, that they bent it incorrectly. So what I'm gonna do is use a drill bit and just enlarge, let's see, I'll double check, but I think it was this hole where my thumb is at, and I'll enlarge that hole just so I can hopefully get this to sit a little bit better, and then I'll have to spray paint it and let it dry while I'm watching football today. All right, I made these holes a little bit oblong, so now it's time to paint them up and go watch some football. So I've been at this for a couple hours after the football game. It looks like I have the rears correct. These are how I have the brackets. This one is curved for some reason and I can't figure out why, but it is the only way that the rears work. So I have that and it does kind of show in that little lip right there. Just don't understand it, but this seems like the height is pretty good. On both sides, I have these cloths here to protect my paint, but the front, I cannot figure out for the life of me. So obviously that is way too high. And the pinch point, it looks like, if I can get it, is, oh man, if that would focus, I think that shows it, is this bar. 
this bar right here that holds these lower bolts, that bar is basically resting on the paint. If that towel wasn't there in the middle of the car, it would be scratching the paint right now. So I cannot get this any lower because of that bar. So if this front plate wasn't on, then maybe I'd have a better chance, but I cannot figure this out. And I've got these two brackets for the front. I've been trying to figure out how they attach and I cannot get them to line up at all. Otherwise, it looks pretty awesome. I'm almost okay with the bolts being silver. <laughs> they do actually stand out quite a bit, but I don't know, I gotta get this figured out. Also, I noticed that the company logo is right there. It's right there. And then in all of the photos online, it is also right here, except over here, I have that. YK or something? I don't, I don't know what that logo is. Don't know why it's not the same as the other two in all the photos i've seen online it matches the other two so i don't know so that's where i'm at for now well i've spent hours trying to figure out the right configuration of these brackets because they're all just so different i think i finally have the bracket configuration correct but the front required some modification so that's what i'm doing right now i have to drill a couple new holes for the front brackets it looks really good like and i'm really not upset because I really like this roof rack. I didn't want to have to drop the headliner and do all that, like I said in the last video. So this was the best option to get a Prinsu like rack without having to modify anything. And once these brackets are modified and the new holes are drilled, I could remove this whole roof rack and put it on a different RAV if I wanted to. But anyway, so far it looks like I think I have it figured out. I'm gonna to try to show you the steps that I'm taking just in case you are doing this yourself, but it is kind of dark, so bear with me. I'm gonna to try to show you what I have going on. Okay, here we are at the car. I've got all my supplies, everything here ready. I'll show you across the way to show you what I did already. Let's see if I can zoom in there, yeah. So you can see where the bolts are on the vertical piece. I had to drill those two holes and add that because you can see for some reason how far off they really were. I have these all correct. I know I'm using, well, I guess I can't say I know. I'm pretty positive that I'm using the correct brackets on both of these two sides. It seems like it's the only way it could possibly go. So that leaves these two brackets. I've moved these brackets back and forth, and this seems like the only possible way they are even remotely close. So yeah, I had to drill holes where those two bolts are on the vertical piece and I'm about to do the same over here. So I have a clamp in place and I have this bracket. Let's see if I can get a shot of it. I have this bracket in place exactly where it's gonna go. I can't point because I'm also <laughs> holding a flashlight, but you can see where those are. They're exactly lined up. So now that I have that clamped in place, I'm going to start drilling some holes right there. And then I'm gonna remove the bracket and finish the holes inside so I don't get all the metal all over my perfect car. <laughs> Speaking of perfect car, so far I've managed to not do any scratches or problems or any issues. Uh, but actually that reminds me, I had to remove this entire front piece. This was the big issue in order to get this flush mounted. So you can see how this is just perfect along the rails. In order to get that low enough, I had to remove that front air dam. There was absolutely zero way for that front air dam to be on and have this flush mounted. On this piece here, right here in the middle of this square channel piece of metal this was hitting the roof of the car and thank god i had a towel underneath it otherwise it would have scratched the shit out of the roof of my car before i even realized why it wasn't sitting flush i have had thoughts even before this project began about doing a fiberglass front air dam so this is all the more reason to continue forward with that thought and actually build a fiberglass front air dam. That's for a future video, but I think it'll help aerodynamics. Maybe I could remove this part right here and it would be a little closer to the metal, but that just means that the air would be pushing down on this. So this middle part could hit the vehicle. Um, man, I, I don't know. Anyways, I think I'm gonna be able to get this thing mounted, but without that front cowl. I think it's looking great though. 
I'm just gonna finish drilling this hole and continue to the next step. Well, I am happy to announce that I have it. It is installed. I removed all of the towels. There's no scratching, no rubbing. It looks like it's good. It's very hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure it's good. I was able to do all of this without scratching the car at all, which is awesome. I think it looks really good, but it is impossible to show you guys right now. So I'm gonna have to cut to tomorrow morning where I show you guys, even with the brightest flashlight that I own, I can't really get any good footage of it. So you'll have to trust me, hold out until tomorrow morning. It's only gonna be seconds for you, but I promise it'll be worth the wait. I'm really happy with it and I can't wait to show you guys. Hey guys, it's the next morning and it's raining, obviously. Seems like it's always raining, but here is the rack. It looks great. It seems really solid. It's on there nice. Last night in the photos and with the light that I had, it looked like it definitely needed to be painted because this is a kind of a flat black. Then obviously the car and everything else is a glossy black. But with this rain, it's really hard to tell. It looks fine, but I still have the silver bolts. So I think I'm going to get a pulley system for my garage and lift this thing off today and paint it. I'm probably just gonna do, or I am just gonna do a spray paint job from a spray paint can because my paint guy is busy until spring, like April, he said, so that really sucks. So there it is, it's on there. I'm waiting for the rear ladder to show up. That should be here like today or tomorrow. And I think it's coming along nice. That looks pretty badass. Like I mentioned it in a different clip, but I did have to remove the front wind fairing there's just no way of getting that on there and it was this lower bar this lower bar you can just see how the roof is curved there in the middle uh, and this is where the lower bar was and it was just hitting the top of the car there it's really wait, rainy and windy so i'm gonna put this phone down and start doing some work all right so i got the car into the garage it's kind of a tight fit because i just have so much stuff in this garage but I wanted a little shelter from the wind and rain. So what I'm doing right now is adjusting the height of the roof rack. I thankfully did it mostly right the first time. There's a nice little gap that goes around, so it's not touching any metal. I could even possibly get some door edge guards just to actually fill in this gap a little bit, but it doesn't bother me at all. I think it looks great. But what I'm doing right now is uh, adjusting the height, make sure all corners are the same. What I was doing is just taking my tape measure and measuring gently right in between these two mounting screws. And it is just about a 16th shy of four inches. So just so you guys know, if you guys are copying this or you're doing this too, that's how I have the stance on mine. So what I'm doing on this side is adjusting this corner here because for some reason, I messed up on the corner a little bit. This was a little higher over here than it was over there. It wouldn't really be that noticeable to most people, but I noticed it, so I wanted to fix it. I can't measure right between the bolts because this is in the way, but I had it just at five and five sixteenths. So what I did is I just took the bolts out. Uh, I put clamps in place to hold it in the exact place that I wanted it. And now I'm going to drill some holes right here and it's just gonna lower it down just a little bit. It's only like, it was maybe a quarter inch high, something like that. So that's what I'm doing now. And then I'm gonna to go to the store. I'm going to get uh, some pulleys and I'm gonna to try to rig up a pulley system here so I can lift this roof rack off because my wife can't lift it and I don't really have any friends around that can help me out with this today. Uh, so I'm gonna lift it up and dry it all off and then I'm gonna paint it. Well, this is one of the craziest things I've done. <laughs> this is what I rigged up to lift this thing off. So now I gotta get in my car and drive it out of here. Um, yeah, this is the only way I could get this off because I do have to torque these down. I wanna use some Loctite on these bolts here and I wanna paint that. But I'm gonna shut up and get this car out before this thing breaks and uh, falls down on my car. Well, that was pretty risky, but thankfully it worked and didn't come crashing down on my car. I just need Caleb to be 10 years older and six feet tall so he can help me out with these projects. But okay, that's safely off. Unfortunately, it is raining as you can guess. So I'm gonna have to wait for a while for this thing to dry before I can paint it. But what I can do is like I said, use Loctite on the brackets that are actually on the car and get those brackets all locked in place. And then whenever it dries, then I can paint this rack.
Welcome back. Well, today was painting day. Very happy to say that this is painted. So hopefully tomorrow it'll be cured enough that I can actually mount it back onto the car. I did a test fitting and it looks awesome. I posted a couple photos online. I absolutely love the way it looks. I just didn't like that it was flat black with the chrome bolts and obviously the car is all black. So that's why I decided to paint it. While it was attached to the car, I did a little bit of driving around and it is pretty noisy, but I also didn't have the front fairing on. Uh, I did paint it. It's over here. That's where I'm at for now. Just waiting for paint to dry and hopefully tomorrow I will get it back installed. And of course I'll film all of that, but I cannot wait to show you guys. It looks awesome. It really makes this car look so much different, so much better. Uh, I love it. So more to come. Wow, it is cold out here. I think it's like 25 and uh, windy and snowing. But with the help of my wife, we got it on there. Pretty awesome. I could use the pulley system that I made here, but I don't have the eye loops yet. And I wanted eye loops for the top of this thing so I could easily grab it and lift it off. And I was just too eager. Those aren't gonna be here till Friday. Today's Wednesday. But there's your first look. I'm gonna get it into the garage now, make sure everything's centered. Oh man, it's cold. And uh, tighten everything else down. Well, it looks like I have it all centered, so I think that's all good. So what I'm doing now is connecting these bolts, but I'm also using some blue Loctite this time. If you saw in my previous video, I showed you guys the mounting brackets. That was all correct. So I got those mounted. I also use Loctite on those screws. Be very careful with the OEM bolt because there's just not a lot of metal there. It's only man, not even a quarter inch, I don't think. And one of them I lost some threads on, but I was still able to snug it down and tighten it down. And it seems like it's holding just fine. But just be aware that the other bolt, the one that they give you, it's a stainless steel bolt. That one has a ton of thread that it grabbed. It definitely seems like it could hold a lot of weight. I had those mounting brackets attached and mounted to my car for a couple days now. So that Loctite should be cured, should be all good. One hard thing about Loctite, if you read the packaging, it says do not do it when it's wet. It's a little wet. <laughs> so hopefully that's going to be fine. I don't know how important that is, but it might be a little bit wet, but I think it'll be fine. As you can see here in the front, I do not have the front cowl on because like I said, again, in the previous clip, that front middle bar was hitting the roof of the car right there. I wonder if it'll change now that I have some things adjusted. I will, so I'll try. But I think a nice fiberglass fairing here in the front, a wind deflector that goes, starts here at the top and goes all the way down. Maybe if I ever get a light, I can maybe just do a little cutout for it. Uh, but then it comes down here and follows the contour of the roof line. I think that would help a lot with noise. We'll see. That's a, a future plan when it's not 25 degrees out. <laughs> Before I end this little clip, I'll show you what the brackets look like. So here is the front bracket. This is what I'm working on right now. And it's going to be hard to see from this angle, but you can see that I drilled some extra holes. I could not, for the life of me, get those two to line up. So really, that was the only customization that I had to make with this. I did that on both sides. You can see them right over there way off so i don't know what was up with that i did finally get instructions from the company but they were not correct it wasn't even for the right car i don't even know what they were for it looked like an old rav or something so i don't know why again these are curved but you can kind of see how that bracket there is curved i tried both brackets front and back i've reversed them i've gone every different way and these are the only ways that it works uh for one these bolt holes right here are, I forget, further? Yeah, I think these are further apart than these. So that was an easy way to know that this bracket definitely went here in the front because these were closer together. And by reversing them front to rear or rear to front, 
uh, it was easily noticeable that these brackets were not interchangeable with the front and rear. Another thing that I wanted to mention that might help you guys is I'm staggering them, as you can see here. I feel like that's just going to give a little bit more support than putting them in a straight line. With the Loctite tightening down, it probably doesn't really matter at all. But there's another little tip, uh, something that I did that's working for me. Well, it is on. What do you guys think? I know it's kind of hard to tell here in the garage, but the gaps all look great. I don't see anything really messed up. The height looks good. There's clearance all the way around, all the roof rails. There's nothing touching at all. Hopefully it stays that way. Nothing is touching after I put weight on this roof rack, but everything is aligned. Man, I cannot be happier with this roof rack, how it looks and the way it's all turned out. I think it's awesome. What I'll do now though is pull it outside. We don't really have a whole lot of sunlight, but I'll get out there into the sunlight that we do have, check it out and get some more video for you guys. Well, there it is. Man, I just love how that looks. That's amazing. Just looks like it's supposed to be there. Looks like it's part of the car. Man, that's awesome. It would look better if that front wind fairing was in and I'll have to work on that in a future video. But still, I think it's pretty neat. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, feel free to subscribe and share. See ya.